This Earth Mover, manned by the State Minister of Environment, Jessica Erio, marked the beginning of the construction of the sewage and waste fecal matter treatment plant at Luigi. The construction is just phase one of the project and is part of the sewage master plan for Kampala. Luvigi Swamp, where the plant is to be located, has suffered encroachment by many people and sewage flows through the surrounding homes untreated. Because this is one project that will solve a number of problems uh, in Kampala. Uh, first of all, sanitation is a very big problem, uh, countrywide, but mainly in the urban areas. This kind of situation is quite common in Kampala and is why the European Union, in partnership with the German government, decided to fund it in order to mitigate long-term effects on Lake Victoria. We have injected in this particular project uh, seven million, about 7 million euro, which is roughly 20 billion uh, Uganda shilling. There is one bottom line, helping to do an efficient water supply system and efficient sanitation will improve increase the chance to reach the Millennium Development Goals for Uganda, which we are striving all together. So I personally do hope that, uh, well, once this project, as well as the Nakivubu treatment plant project has been finished, I can have a swim in clean water around the Gaba area. Currently, just 8% of residents of Kampala are connected to the national water and sewerage network. The plant at Luigi will complement the existing one at Bugolobi, but will also help solve perennial flooding in areas neighboring this wetland, such as Bwaise and Kalerwe, whenever it rains. As the plant is being set up, the government has warned the people around against further encroachment on the wetland. So people should differentiate between uh, having this place here uh, reclaimed for this project and their illegal reclamation of wetlands elsewhere. Yeah. In the past, the National Environment Authority has been at pains to enforce against encroachment here in vain. The government says an environment impact assessment was done before the project was approved. Hilara Isiga, NTV.